Hey y'all, I'm Lockleth, and it has been a moment since I've recorded, but I need to start on Lockleth Cozy Week 2023. If you were here last year on my channel, you know that I did a Cozy Week for six days towards the end of December, so basically the week of Christmas. And so I gave you daily content for those six days where I did a Let's Play of basically games that have been on my backlog. And this one I have played a little bit of and I've had failed attempts at playing it for y'all here on my channel. So I figured why not bring it back? It's making it come back. Opus Echo of Star Song, and hopefully it'll work this week as the jumping off point, but very quickly like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you enjoy my content, want to see more anytime that I post, make sure you ring that bell. But yes, I am going to be playing Opus Echo of Star Song, and to give you a little bit of background on it, it is a text-driven side-scrolling adventure game developed by Taiwanese independent studio Sigono. It is the third installment of the Opus series after Opus The Day We Found Earth and Opus Rocket of Whispers. Like its predecessors, the game focuses on story, puzzles, and exploration. Like I said, it was developed by Sigono. It was published by them as well. So go off kings and queens. It was released on September 1st of 2021, so it has been on Switch for a while, but it is available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Microsoft, iOS, Mac OS, Xbox Series S, Series S, you know, all the things. It's just available anywhere, but I am playing it on Switch. So we're going to get into Opus Echo of Star Song. You're not going to see my face during the gameplay, but I did want to show you my face. Hello for the intros for all the games this week. So let's get into it. So hopefully the volume will be okay. I might have to adjust it because I do remember the volume being the main issue I had with recording, specifically recording this playthrough. So let's just get into it by entering Lumen Cave. By Tyon's Mercy, commencing exploration. Forgive me, Clan Master, but we have no data about this place. You do not have to put yourself in danger like this. Anyone in the clan would be honored to explore on your behalf. So I did choose the option, and you can also pick where there's no voice acting, but I chose English with the words and Japanese for the voice acting. So change it up a little bit. Calm yourself. I've explored more than my share of Lumen Caves in my youth. Besides, no clan master should put his own people in danger. But sir, you have dedicated your entire life to the clan. With the clan's daily business behind you now, why trouble yourself with a person you knew for such a short time? Enough. Forgive me. Listen close, from now on, I am no longer head of the Lee clan. I am Jun Lee. I failed to be there for her back then, so let me live out my life before it ends. Legend says that when the sun god was born, the essence of his flames remained flowing through the stone. This essence became known as Lumen. Lumen is ever flowing and eventually gave birth to the ancient civilization of Myria. I love these angles in the game. Eight Orbis, six Circum, seventeen Gradus. May the eons realign the stars so we may find each other in death. O Helios, Lord of Myria, despite a life of toil, you were still met with eternal separation from your love. The Myrian Empire reached prosperous heights but fell to causes unknown, leaving nothing but ruins and the beautiful yet mysterious blue energy of Lumen. 
Ida, I finally returned. If we ever have another chance, I hope we don't lose ourselves to the Lumen. Nevertheless, I am here for you now. Ida, will I ever hear your voice again? Become a great seeker of Lumen and bring honor to our clan. This is definitely a beautiful game, y'all. I remember the music being really great in between. Those were my mother's last words. Words I recall even to this day. Jun Lee, Clan Master of Lee, Ninth of the East Ocean Clans. A hundred years ago, near the edges of the galaxy, there was a solar system known as Thousand Peaks. Here, ruins of an ancient Lumen civilization were discovered throughout the asteroid belt. Within years, the once secluded region became a hotbed of conflict between factions from every corner of the galaxy fighting to gain control of the Lumen. The conflict lasted for 20 years, becoming known as the Lumen War. Millions of lives were lost. The war was eventually ended by the galactic megacorporation United Mining, who claimed an overwhelming victory. However, this failed to bring about peace. The lure of Lumen was far too powerful to control. Smaller conflicts raged on, and the masses continued to fight over the valuable resource. Eventually, this gave rise to rampant piracy and illegal excavation. As the flames of chaos turned to burn, in the end, United Mining was forced to loosen its grasp and made the lumen publicly available through newly introduced regulations. This change in policy quickly transformed Thousand Peaks from a war zone into a haven from lumen-seeking explorers. People from all corners of the galaxy flooded in with one goal in common. To discover Lumen and a chance for glory and untold riches. And I was among them, an exile who had been driven from home. That was 66 years ago when I first met Ida. So that's the Ida he's been talking about, y'all. So we're going back in time. Chapter 1. I forgot there's a Capybarian trader. Give up, cave runner. You don't have what it takes to find caves. How would you know? Please just give us the intel. Intel? I just sold it to you. You just gave us a photo with some vague directions. Look at June. Look at that fresh-faced June there. The cave could be any one of the hundreds of asteroids in that area. Where would we even start? Don't you have a witch in your crew? No wonder you can't find it. Witch? What are you talking about? You're from East Ocean, aren't you? I can't tell by your accent. Don't tell me you don't even know what a witch is. In any case, you already took our money. You should honor your end of the deal. Calm down, June. No need to get worked up. Get lost, kid. I don't do business with amateurs who can't even afford a witch. I'll say it again. There's no way someone like you is going to find any ca Put me down! Say whatever you want, but don't you dare insult my young master. Let him go, okay? 
And listen up, we East Oceaners don't work with witches. I knew it. I've seen the way you talk. You're East Ocean nobles. You outsiders make me sick. You came mining our caves like you own the place and ran off faster than anyone with United Mining come along. How dare you come crawling back? Don't have a witch? Figure it out yourself. How do you want to handle this, sir? June's like, I have no idea, but I need you to stop causing conflict. All right, this is where we make decisions, y'all. We can either let him go, we can talk this through, or beat him until he gives us the intel. I'm gonna say let him go, because I don't want to hurt the capybara. Like, come on, who would hurt them? Okay, let him go first. Myria, never lasting. Perhaps we can offer a better deal. Ah, uh, bless my fortune, and who might you be? Hey, what are you doing? These things don't need your attention. Why not sell us the intel instead? Our witch can locate the cave in no time. She's pretty. Finally, a proper vessel crew. That'll be 600 credits, kind runner. Deal. Hey. Here's my account. Send the payment in three standard hours and the intel will be in your inbox. Not a problem. You'll receive a transaction under the name Ida. <gasps> it's Ida, y'all. There's Ida. May Lumen be with you always. Give your witch my thanks. See ya. Wait, don't go. Do we send Kay to stop them or do we talk to her ourselves? We don't want to hurt her, so let's just say, let's just talk to her ourselves. Hold on, that traitor is trying to scam you. Hey, back off. They already made the deal. What do you want with Eddie? Out of the way, kid. Okay, wait, she's just a child. Look at the detail in this, y'all. Let's just take a moment. Like, they could have let this be a still. But her eyes are moving. There's like little fractures of like light in the air. Fractals, I guess. <laughs> like it could have been a still, but like they do add small movements. I like that. Good lumen. There goes the rat. Your business is done here. What else do you want? Careful, Remy. They might hurt you. Listen, don't buy the intel. It's worthless. If you don't believe me, take a look. Pfft, that's what a liar would say. Remy, manners. Why should I be nice? They're the ones picking on us peekers. Sorry, what you say may be true. Of course, just look at this photo. But I dislike violence. Neverlasting paths. Goodbye. What's wrong with these people? Let it go, June. You can't blame them. East Ocean did promise Thousand Peaks during the war that it wouldn't surrender to United Mining. But we ended up being the first to do so. Hard to complain about people hating us after what had happened. We were so close to getting the intel. Hey, don't worry. We can get the Lumen Association to help. When were they ever willing to help us? Well, the rat said he's from the association. If we go and tell them about our unfinished business, I'm sure they'd be willing to help out. Lumen Transfer Station Fortune 9. This is where Ida and I first met. Kay wasn't too fond of them. From what I remember, the place was a bustling space station. In cooperation with United Mining, the Lumen Association was set up in the 18th and final year of the Lumen War to resolve disputes regarding mining rights. A system was put in place to resolve conflicts and give intel brokers legal standing with the goal of maintaining stability in Thousand Peaks and preventing further bloodshed. Yet another victim. You're not from here, are you? We don't know this traitor. But he shows us his association ID. Fortune 9 is a new trading hub. The place is full of scammers. Is this the photo he showed you? You may think this is an untouched cave. But it's actually home base to the Bones Brigade, a gang of pirates notorious for smuggling lumen. 
This witch's star song was copied recently. Parsing it will give you the exact location. If you got nothing better to do, you're welcome to get rid of them for us and tell any runner you know to keep an eye out. The association isn't here to babysit outsiders, you know. Okay, we got the pirate recording star song. Star songs, rumbles from the depths of asteroids. By analyzing them, one could glean the coordinates of Lumen asteroids, making them highly coveted items in the marketplace. However, only the emissaries of Myrian gods, the witches, could record them. We've got one of 240 memories collected. That's a lot of memories, y'all. By Tyong's mercy, I hope those girls never find the place. Yeah, so there's apparently pirates there, y'all. So we need to go help them, because they don't know. Do you remember why we're here in Thousand Peaks, young master? Find Lumen Caves, restore honor and prosperity to the clan. I know, this isn't the time to help others. Well, maybe helping these people out will restore some honor, too. Alright. Obviously, this is space exploration, y'all, if you didn't know that already. Look how pretty this galaxy is. Um, so we're gonna focus in on this asteroid, because that's where we need to head. Let's go. Let's travel. We're just catching up to warn them. It'll be fine. Fine, but you're gonna regret this. They have a witch on their ship. What exactly are witches anyways? War machines. Our clan rarely talks about them. But they were the main reason why East Ocean was defeated in the Lumen War. If it wasn't for their ability to detect Lumen, I doubt anyone would like them. Looks like an average Lumen cave. Look closer. See those entrances on the side? That's a sure sign this place has been converted. This is an organized gang. So are those two... No signs of any ships nearby. Must have been lured in already. Can't say for sure what'll happen to them. If they're lucky, they'll just lose their ship. And if they aren't, well... Isn't there anything we can do? We'll have to leave the ship outside and sneak in through one of their entrances. I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. Remember to follow my orders once we're in. Sorry, I didn't expect this to be dangerous. Eh, it's just some pirates. Grab your synth scepter. We better get going. Alright, raise thy scepter and play the Song of Stars. Even to this day, the precepts passed down during my training as a cave runner remain clear in my mind. Can't believe we bribed our way in. Bribe? You nearly killed the man. Mm. Let's move. Come on, she's inside. I heard they caught a runner sneaking in. Looks like they're already behind those doors. Follow me. Is there some way to sneak through that gate? Only war veterans can convert caves into bases like this. These people don't mess around. Follow me. I wonder what that contraption is for. Looks like a bunch of uh, flutes, like an organ. Over here, be careful when you climb the scaffolding. We don't want to draw attention. Wouldn't be surprised. This is where Lumen civilization supposedly came from, after all. By Taiyang's mercy, our faith really is connected to the Myrian culture in Thousand Peaks. We gotta make sure we click on all those little spots, because those are memories. So this is a mural of holy suffering. This mural depicts the myth of how Ignis' ice blue essence was transformed into Lumen after his flames had faded. The Lumen flowed without end, eventually giving birth to the Myrian gods. However, their inability to control the energy of Ignis within them meant that at any moment, they might be engulfed in flames of suffering. Oh my goodness, not suffering, please. We'll probably miss some memories, but I'm going to try and catch them all. Like Pokemon. There's a gate here, too. Don't touch it. We don't want to draw attention. Don't worry, I wasn't going to. Let's go then. Not me, like, immediately walking to it. Like, let me touch. There are ports just up ahead, so don't go any further. No one's patrolling that spot. We should try to get over there. I think we can just go this way, right? 
Kai, I found it. Oh, Kai. K. Good, let's go. Literal stairs back here. Come on. Come on. I'm too slow. Those ships look like they're illegally modified. They probably break up the ships they snatched to build these or sell the parts on the black market. I don't know how they don't see us, like, climbing steps back here, but, you know, we're not gonna ask those types of questions. This spot should be safe. What's wrong? Aren't you gonna open the gate? I'm waiting for your orders. <laughs> I see, you've already grown as a runner. A star song that has been copied countless times, it was so degraded, the audio could hardly be made out. The sound seduced countless runners into the same perilous situation, but it was also what brought Ida and I together. Good, try performing it to open the gate. It's almost like a... Uh, what do you call it? Not a firecracker. A flare. Nothing happened. Because the sample is too degraded. Then why did you... Calm down, I was trying to teach you a lesson. Keep your eyes open, you see that over there? Song pipes, a contraption unique to Thousand Peaks, so it's like a giant organ, y'all. A lot of sound organ, basically. Yeah, it's just like a flare, look at that. But it's as if these song pipes exist to solve this very problem. Even when we have a poor sample, by Taeyang's mercy, the lumen will guide our way. Yep, song pipes. Archaeological research indicates that when the Myrian guards cultivation proved ineffective, they relied on song pipes to enhance their voices. Only then were they able to enter the gates. This unique feature made it much easier for modern cave runners to open them. So this is how it looks inside the pillar. Looks like it's been abandoned after all the valuables were excavated. This is our chance. Keep up. Well, dang. Okay. This is an interesting ladder, y'all. It's a dead end. Keep your eyes open. Let the lumen guide your way. Easy peasy. Into the hole. <laughs> and out of the pipes. A lumen transmutation engine? What, you didn't see those during your training back home? Alright, we need to open this. Here, this should be the main luminide liquid pipe. Normally these would reach deep into the asteroid. Would those two be down there? It's worth trying, the main shrines are usually near the core, which makes them good spots for establishing base camp. Okay, so we gotta get that going. Um, so a little bit at a time. We need to do probably this. We just gotta fill the valve. Gotta turn it from a liquid to a gas, y'all. What's happening? Was it too much power? Looks like the chamber was too full, overloading the old machinery. Be careful, luminate resonates within itself, so it's entirely possible to cause a chain reaction that blows up the whole place. Should be enough, yeah, to open that. Alright, let's go in. Eight standard hours ago. Are you sure this intel is legit? I can't say I'm entirely confident. Plan A? 
If the intel is legit, you'll wait for me outside. Plan B. The place turns out to be a pirate base. I'll tell them that I'm a witch and convince them that I can help them find Lumen Caves if they let me go. Plan C. I go silent for 24 hours. You'll try to contact me. And most importantly, no matter what happens, you'll come to save me. One standard hour ago. I think she's finding out that this is a pirate cave, y'all. Come out. No use hiding. Looks like we have a young runner. Are you in charge of this place? I'm here to make a deal. That's what the last guy said as well. Surround her. I'm serious, I'm here to talk. Looks like I underestimated you. Your pilot knows how to hide, yeah? We know how the game works. We only smuggle goods. No drugs, no hits. So who are you and what do you want? I'm a witch. What? I need someone to help me find caves. Okay, she's up ahead. There we are. Keep your voice down. Oh, here we go. We're about to, like, ruin it. She's sitting there trying to make a deal. We're gonna walk in and ruin her plans. Where's the other person? Is she waiting on their ship? I can't hear what they're saying. Quiet. Let me listen. Goodness, look who the rat sent us. A witch. Isn't finding caves what you do best? Didn't you people locate every single cave there is in the peaks during the war? I can find them, but I need runners to help me explore. I believe this is where you're good at it. It's all yours. All I want to know is what you find. Get out of here. No splits. Never seen a deal like this, lads. But I have one condition. If you and United Mining are searching for the same cave, you have to beat them to it. For a deal this good, you know, just moments ago I thought I hated witches. I don't blame you. I feel the same way about myself. You self-righteous witches thought you were doing the right thing when you sided with United Mining to end that stupid war. It was a foolish war and a foolish decision. If it weren't for you people, we wouldn't be here doing this kind of business. So my revenge starts with you, liar. Wait, I'm not lying. Something's going on. Don't go, it's too late. Do we say it's right, it's too late? Or do we say, I just can't sit and watch? You know what, y'all? I can't sit and watch. Just kidding, I admire your courage. But I don't do business with liars. Alright, lads. Send her off. Now! It's a trap, she's got back up. Don't move, I have the witch. I said don't move. One more step and I blow her head off. Who do you work for? Lumen Association? United Mining? Boss, we found a ship hiding on the dark side of the asteroid. They found Kuhn? A witch and two Oceaner nobles? What combination is this and what are you doing all the way out here? Hey, you big guy, don't move. You look like you've seen some action. You know what to do next, yeah? Yeah, I know what to do. Okay, we're here to save... Good Lumen. Nobody move. I only have two requests. First, on the count of three, you let her go, I let him go. Second, you leave our ship alone. I can agree to the first one, but you want me to let your fancy ship go? Huh. Guess you're worth a ship now. If you all agree, I'm counting to three. Have to say, you got me good. One. That was a pretty convincing act, liar. Now walk. I really don't know these people. Two? Hey kid, I heard you Oceaners take your master-servant relationships very serious. You don't look so tough, but your servant, he's pretty good. Don't say a word, June. Aren't you worried that he'll betray you? Kay is my guardian, how dare you insult- shut up! Kid's the master, kill him, June! Kay! Oh no, y'all. Serious business. Look what happens when we try to save people. But you know, I couldn't just leave her. <laughs> You're new to the game, aren't you, kid? Never reveal yourself in a fight. Hey, this kid is the noble. Lock them all up and bring in their ship. 
Ugh, the gate isn't responding to my performance. They even removed the song pipes. I believe I can help. A degraded sample isn't going to work, no matter what you do. Besides, this would have been part of their plan. Hmm, poor Kay. Is he alright? I applied some first aid, but that's all I can do for now. This isn't good. Hey, don't give me that look. I'm fine. Just need some rest. It's all my fault. It kind of is your fault, June. Well, it's a good learning experience for the future clan master. Don't worry about it. What, you need me to wrap you up too? You think we got you into this, don't you? I apologize, but at the time, you looked like you were in danger. What are you trying to say? That you helped me? I mean no such thing, but Kay is an honorable East Ocean warrior, so I hope you understand the reason for our actions. Oh, of course. I'm so grateful for your display of honor, kind nobles. I would appreciate it if you didn't speak that way. Enough! My negotiations were going along just fine, and look what happened. You broke into a situation you had no idea about, and your partner ended up getting hurt. I was... Sir. Sorry, I was a little too harsh. I was just frustrated. Eddie, finally, what happened? Keep it down, I'm fine, but I'm in a bit of trouble. I told you, I told you. Fortunately, they had the decency to not search my body. I'll contact you later. How did you... What, keep my communications device? I did a good job hiding it. Hold on, that's not just any communications device. It was used on United Mining Lumen seeking vessels during the war by... Who are you, a soldier? What are you finding caves for? I'm just a prisoner, like you, and I plan to get out. No need to be wary. I assure you that we're on the same side. You mentioned a plan C. What is it? My escape plan. You have a plan? Only half a plan, actually. I just didn't want to worry her. What about the other half? I'm not sure yet. Let me think a bit. It was used to assist soldiers with injured throats. Afterward, I found out that Bones hadn't confiscated it partially out of sympathy and partially because of his confidence that no one would encroach on his territory. Please, case hurt. I need to get him out. Do you have any ideas? How well do you perform? You saw me try. I couldn't open the gate. If you need a better star song, I can record one for you. I'm a witch of the Red Chamber. I focus on cultivating my soul, not becoming an instrument of war. I know what you're thinking. If I can produce star songs, why don't I just open the gate myself? Unfortunately, my throat is incapable of it. Ready to record? Come closer, I can't sing very loudly. Sample of Ida's voice from when we first met. It was faint, as it had been damaged, but her voice, it was so beautiful that I'll never forget it. I have an idea. Mm, okay, here is the options. We gotta get out of here, but safely. I could offer them my ship to let us go. I need some way to connect. We can open the gate and just run for it. I don't think that's gonna work. Let's just do the connect to the ship thing. The signals of an oceaner ship should be easy enough to filter, but how will you control it if it's not activated? I can hear its engines. They definitely activated my ship. Once the gates open, I can give you the ship's access code. Are you serious? It's worth considering. You're right, this really could work. This is outrageous, sir. Your crew member, the pilot, is she ready for this? She's already standing by. In a moment, she'll enter the port and pretend to be a cargo ship in distress. She looks very young. Is that safe? Don't worry, she grew up dealing with pirates. What about you? You should know that there's no guarantee that this will work. How could I lose? That boy tried to open the gate before comprehending its frequency. Much too impulsive. Which clan is he from? He belongs to Lee. That insignificant clan with the mining rights to Shimin and Kendaji. The clan that failed negotiations with United Mining and was driven out of Thousand Peaks? No wonder. Your Majesty, this was an unfair competition. My opponent had the inscriptions memorized beforehand. I had no choice but to rush... Be quiet, sir. Please forgive him, Your Majesty. My young master is not good with words. He implies no such thing. Okay, this is my responsibility. Watch yourselves. Both of you step back. 
Please forgive my failure to discipline my people, your majesty. Issue the verdict. At 1200 standard time, 351, 340 of the East Ocean calendar, the 16th heir of the Lee clan entered a match for the mining rights to Datong. As the cosmos bear witness, the match has concluded with the defeat of Lee. Therefore, the mining rights to Datong will be revoked from the 16th heir. In addition, the Lee clan committed further offense by questioning the results of the match. As such, the Lee clan's mining rights to all grade 1 caves, including Shimin, Yishan, and Xianjia, are henceforth revoked, effective immediately. The defeat suffered here today pales in comparison to the reckless actions we have witnessed. For this, the Lee clan will always be inferior. Hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Stay focused. My pilot has entered the port. She's pretending to negotiate with him right now. Oh, I did the wrong one. Did I do the wrong one? Before we start, I'd just like to reintroduce myself. My name is Idalun of the Red Chamber Trading Vessel. It's a pleasure to meet you, noble. Call me June, third rank noble of Lee, ninth of the East Ocean clans. This man is Kay, my guardian, whom I share life and death. Miria, Neverlasting, thank you for offering to do this. If we make it out alive, I owe you my life. I need no such thing. Okay, we gotta adjust the tune and volume. Okay, here's the tune. We just gotta line it up in the volume. That should be good. May East Ocean greet your return. She's in your hands now. Remy, the access code is May East Ocean greet your return. I'm sorry, Kuhn. Now, let's go, Kay. Eddie at work just when they started to suspect me, that ship went boom. I don't know how you managed to find an Oceaner ship, but dang, that felt good. Everyone at the port is going nuts. Now's your chance. We have to hurry. My pilot is already here. All right. I don't know if there's memories along the way, but we just need to go. I've already been recording for over an hour. <laughs> there's so much. And I want to get through a certain part. Okay, they're at port ramp six. Coon, forgive me. Oh, snap. Okay, are you alright? Get them. Pick them up. Pick them up. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's no way to run either in this game, y'all. Stop them. We don't have time for this. We gotta go. We gotta go. Shooting or not, we're going. This is ramp six, right? Where's your pilot? There, watch out. Hey, hey, don't come near our ship. Where are the people you're bringing, Eddie? Let them on board, Remy. No way. Remy, we don't have time for this. No time to explain. They're coming for us. Remy, please. Uh, the dramatics. Bone Brigade base escape passage. Don't worry, Kay. We'll be out of here soon. You two, grab a hold of something. Yeah, we don't have seatbelts back here. Jesus. They should be thrown in the airlock and ejected. Remy, please prepare for hyper travel. T Calculating velocity. Locating destination. Destination located. Entering hyper travel in five. What's wrong? Hyper travel failed. The engine is overheating. Restarting the engines. Were the engines damaged on our way out? Hey, witch, this is a lumen seeking vessel, isn't it? Okay, you have to sit still. I don't know how you kids got this ship, but listen. Don't tell us what to do with our ship. Listen, I know how to fix it. If you enter hyper travel right after taking off, it'll lock up the engines. You'll need to override the ship's authorization levels. Give this to the witch, June. Still remember that startled look on Ida's face when Kay scribbled the instructions on the piece of paper. She never would have thought the Oceaner Guardian who stood beside her was a seasoned Lumen War veteran. 
Will this really fix it? Have to try. Hyperspeed enabled. It worked. The engines are back up. Pfft, can't believe it worked. Remy. Counting down. Four. Sit tight, you two, and press the wounds. Three. It's June, right? Sorry for the things I said to you before. Thank you for saving me. Two. I'm the one who should thank you for sa saving Kay. One. Hold on, we're taking off. Somebody tell me who these people are. Okay, y'all. We got through chapter one of Opus Echo of Star Song. I hope you enjoyed day one of Lockleth Cozy Week. And, you know, playing some games that are on my backlog. And usually when I start off the new year, I will continue to play these games offline. So maybe I'll add this to my 2024 completed games. Let me know if you pick this game up. I do believe this game goes on sale pretty frequently throughout the year, so make sure you wishlist and check those eShop sales in the future. But thank y'all so much for watching.